Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, and we're back. Back again with Captain Nate. Um, and we're stuck with a bunch of undead people. So let's look around. Uh, first off, let's, uh, let's look at the urns. A few dust-covered urns, most of them decorated with coats of arms. Hmm. A double-headed eagle, a badger eating a snake. There's a king's head in orange and blue. And here, a green W in a lozenge. None of which means a thing to me. <laughs> Alright, uh, is there anything else here? They mean nothing to me. I guess they must be the family crests of the dead. I guess so. Uh... Alright, what else is there? Uh, look at the sarcophagus. A stone sarcophagus with a carved knight on it. Maybe it's the ex-lover of the howling ex-living woman. Hmm, maybe. Uh, let's look at it. A stone sarc... Okay, uh, let's talk to the water corpse. Isn't it a lovely day today? <laughs> Nate's such an asshole. My finely tuned intuition is telling me you might have some troubles. Oh, the trauma. The pain. Oh, woman stuff? Or proper pain, like physical? <laughs> Uh, have you had an accident while swimming? Looks like she shouldn't have gone into that deep water without her water wings. It wasn't an accident. I wanted to kill myself. It almost worked. Uh, where's it hurt then? Oh well, sweetheart, it's not all bad. Tell your Uncle Nate what's wrong. Don't make fun of me. Would I? You men are so insensitive. Only he wasn't. He understood me. <laughs> uh, who is he? Maximilian. My Maximilian. Oh, the most beautiful man who ever walked under the stars. Yes, yes. And then? And that's why you wanted to kill yourself? We were engaged. Maximilian and I were to be married. It was heavenly. I, the rich daughter of a mithril merchant, mm -hmm. and he... Get to the tragic bit, please. <laughs> I gave him chestfuls of gold and all my jewelry as a token of my love. He was going to use it to arrange the most... Wedding ever. Ah, the con man hoofed it. Mm. He did not hoof it. Something must have happened to him. He must have been held. Perhaps someone kidnapped him. And now he is languishing away in some tower and. He hoofed it. He will come back. And we will be reunited like two lovers on. And why have you chosen to ruin the atmosphere in this particular crypt? This is the resting place of his forebears. I will wait with his ancestors until I receive news from him. Hmm, sounds logical. Well, it can't last that much longer. I know. As much as I'd love to spend more time with you, I have to get going. Uh... Alright everybody, sorry about that. Uh... I had a little stuff to uh, to take care of really quick. Uh, like, I had to go potty and all kinds of stuff. All right. It doesn't look like there's anything else here that we can go ahead and look at. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. This bitch is crazy. Super crazy. Crying over the fucking con artist guy. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, he's, like, beating the shit out of that thing. Um, all right, let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy. Hey, Speak boss. to the chief zombie. Ah, the living one. Uh, uh how many zombies and do you have you in your committee? There? In the committee, I mean. The group is still in its early stages. We only have three members so far. But the Spirit Union is associated to us, and the Federation of Programmers is thinking about finally going public with their undead status. Unfortunately, you can't become a member. You're too alive. 
Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, why are you stuck in this magical pinnace, What pillory? are you doing in that thing? And don't tell me it's a fashion statement. I've seen a lot of stuff, but that... No, 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 no nothing like that. A paladin put this thing on me. What did you do? Insult his sister? Well, you could put it like that. He put me in the pillory for it, but even then I couldn't keep my mouth shut. That's why the fair lady stabbed me. So I came back as a ghost and kept her awake at night. They sent a ghostbuster after me, and he actually caught me and killed me. He killed a ghost? Cool guy. I then came back as the first undead ghost in history and messed up the fair lady's wedding. As a result, <laughs> first the paladin undead ghost. conjured this magical penitence pillory around my neck. Now he's lurking around outside the crypt. I think he'd like to cut me up into little pieces and throw me into the sea. Pretty nasty. You've hardly done anything to deserve that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've had a lot of time to reflect, and I'd like to end this feud. It only causes unhappiness. Why don't you apologize? Mm. I've tried, but the paladin only wants revenge. He hurled his hammer at me last time. Oh, God. All right. Uh, can't you get out from that it somehow? That looks pretty uncomfortable. Can't you get the pillory off somehow? Would I still be wearing it if I could? You've got no idea how impractical this thing is. Try scratching your nose with it on. Or go to the bathroom. Mm. Oh, don't remind me. This is a magical pillory. You can't just break it open. It's sealed for eternity. It'll only open when the paladin forgives me. So, never then. Oh, it would seem that way. I better get going. See ya. Take care, and remember, we, the undead, are your friends. Rancid smelling, dead friends. Okay. Uh, let's go. What the hell is this guy doing? Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. Uh, somehow your body doesn't quite seem to do what you want it to your do, does it? Your body maybe act a little kooky? No, it doesn't. My body isn't finished yet. Or do you mean the old one? The rotten one in the ground? I, uh, meant that one there. Oh, this one. Oh, <laughs> it's not mine. Just borrowed. Oh, yeah. Sure. It's kind of weird. Uh, whose body is that? Um, <laughs> whose body is that, then? Esther's. And who is Esther? Hmm. No idea. Don't know her. Uh, but this is her body. She's helping me until I've got mine back. Then we're both going to look for her head. Esther. Ah. Exactly. Oh, God, my phone just fell again. One of these days I'm going to seriously break the crap out of my phone. All right. Uh, and where did you pick up the body? How did you get to know each That's other? That's a pretty good question. Esther's body. Uh, for many years, I was in a grave out there. I chewed my way out of the coffin after my old body gave up the ghost. Then I saw this body outside, stumbling about, headless, knocking over gravestones, running into walls. I thought to myself, this is a sign. Hmm. And what, and what exactly you're are you building there? there? That's supposed to become your new body? Exactly. Isn't it excellent? Yes. Yes, it's, uh, ex-something. Unfortunately, the construction drags along a bit. I'll tell you one thing. Never ask a headless zombie to replace your arms if you want to build precision machinery. I'll make a note of it. What's new? Uh... Doesn't all that wailing from the water course Doesn't drive all that wailing nuts? from that failed swimmer down there really get on your nerves? <clears throat> Steady on. The young lady is suffering great distress. And she lets it out. Day in, day out. For hours on <laughs> end. So what's the story with her missing lover? He jilted her. Cold as ice. Raked in her gold and enjoys a sweet life somewhere down south. She seems to think differently. The good woman isn't really in touch with reality. She still believes everything will be resolved one day. She's waiting for him to appear or send her a letter. Anything at all. I've got to get going. Breathe. Feel my heartbeat. That sort of thing. Ah, don't let me stop you. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so... <clears throat> so far, we don't really seem to have, um, kind of a goal to, to do anything, uh, thus far. This project's not looking all that hopeful, in my opinion. The pair of them seem to have some serious communication problems. Uh, yeah, so, uh, it just, like, we're not really... What's this? A pot containing some gloopy <clears throat> glue. There's a small stick in it. Uh, take it. Take the glue. Fuck it. Now we got some glue. And at least now we have some items. We got glue. That's great. Uh, I don't think that we can go ahead and get anything else, really. Um, so let's go ahead and leave the crypt. Okay, we gotta go find Wilbur. I think that's gonna be the main priority. Uh, we have to find Wilbur. And we gotta free him from that orc camp. Oh, God. Look at all this shit. Uh, look at the mushrooms. <laughs> this must be the fucking paladin. From what I remember, it's a, a few tool small bag. white mushrooms. No idea if you can eat them. Eh, take some. That's fine. All right. Uh, look at the piece of paper. A map of the region. Among other things, the paladin has marked the crypt. Take the map. Fuck it. Fuck him. Uh, look at the head on the lance. Ugh, a head on a pole. What will the Peggy people have to say about that? <laughs> a gruesome head. Kind of a cheap gimmick, because ultimately... Ooh! Ah! What? What? Is there a spider on me? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Those creepy crawlies drive me mad. Can you imagine what it feels like? When they run up your neck and then start nibbling at your eyes from the inside. Uh, no. I can't uh, argue about that. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's not nice. Hmm, I bet. Ah. Stupid paladin simply chops my head off. Hey, stop that nattering. Leave the head alone. Okay. Uh. Let's go talk to this fucking asshole. Leave the head alone. Leave the head alone. Alright, let's look at him. Kind of a Nancy boy. A paladin in a pink colored outfit? That's wrong. Just wrong. Uh, let's look at the pennant. A banner. The emblem on it could be the paladin's arms. It shows a sword, a shield, and red high heels? <laughs> A banner. Okay, let's, let's talk to this asshole. Are you a warrior? No, I can't fight. Are you a healer? I can't heal either. Then you're a paladin. <laughs> oh, what do you want? Uh, do you know any good paladin jokes? Know any good paladin jokes? Why should anyone make jokes about us? We are the holy soldiers of the light. In dresses? This is a tunic. Sure. <laughs> uh, you know what kind of clothing men usually wear? You know that men who wear dresses are, as a rule, well, men who wear dresses. What's that supposed to mean? Just because I wear dresses, use cosmetics, and take a general interest in my appearance? Ah, so it is a dress. The modern man is metrosexual. That's... News to me. Well, my order and I have lifted ourselves up out of the mud in which you and your sort still wallow like pigs. We're cosmopolitan, hip, fashionable. We take care of our appearance and don't downplay our feminine side. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the Wildlands. Uh, what's that head doing on top of the lance? What's that zombie head doing there on that lance? If I put it on the ground, it might try and bite me. It's also much easier to see like this. I mean, why did you behead the poor zombie in the first place? Huh. Zombies! Okay. Are unkempt, stinky, unholy things. Without any charm or chic whatsoever. They can't expect any sympathy. Uh, I've spoken to the zombie that you stuck in the penance pillory. About the zombie you've stuck in the magical penitence pillory. 
What about that maggot? Is he going to give himself up to his fate? Is that cowardly zombie finally going to come out here? He's really sorry for what he did. He'd like to apologize. Ugh, laughable. I'll cut him into little pieces and feed him to the fishes. Nice, but couldn't you maybe forgive him first? You've spent too much time in that smoky buffalo's tent. I would never forgive someone like that. Uh, about your fight with the zombie. About your fight with the zombie. That's nothing to do with you. That's between the zombie and me. Uh, okay, I need to get out. Have to go. Man stuff to do. Ha ha. Uh, let's ransack his shit. <laughs> A nice thing to do actually a fashionable travel chest made from light wood there's a logo on it mmm the pink crusaders hmm open it he's not looking right now why not you can always use a pink colored pom-pom in the wildlands <laughs> in the war <laughs> I really just take a pom-pom there was nothing else of any interest in it. Not that I'd find pom-poms interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, I think that's it. All right, let's go. What the hell is that? Look at the hard red earth. Hmm, some red earth. Just about everything else here is black and gray. Yeah, pick some of that up. Always pick up something that's different. All right, let's go check out that ore camp. Time to go get Wilbur. Break his ass out of there. Uh, look at the device. Hmm, some kind of juice press, I'd say. You put the grapes or whatever in at the top, and the juice runs out the bottom. Hmm. Uh, look at the rubbish heap. If that garbage pile grows just a few more meters, the orcs might as well forget the gate. Any attacker will just be able to use it to climb over the wall. Uh, look at the flowers. The flowers seem to be doing well in the garbage. They're in full bloom. Well, you should take some. The blooms are a luminous blue. Are they supposed to be luring someone or warning them? Hmm. Just take a few. It's fine. Great. Now I've got blue fingers. Good job. Uh, let's look at the rubbish heap again. Trash from every corner of the world. How did that all get there? Uh, can we do anything about this? Uh, use the press. Hey, it still works even. Maybe it's just the green-skinned guys who weren't able to work it. Maybe. Uh, let's use this in the press. No? How about the pom-pom? Can we use the pom-pom in the press? No. Okay. Uh, look at the boards! The boards must have been out in the rain for a long time. They're rotten and covered in mold. Uh, take the boards! Nice. Uh, what else can we take from here? Uh, anything else? Let's look at the poster. Wanted. Slay the Knoll Hogger and take his powerful Knoll Claw. Blah, blah, blah. All the routine stuff. <laughs> Hogger the Knoll. World of Warcraft reference, everybody. Take the poster. That's fine. All right. Let's go. I don't think so somehow, but we should give it a try. Hmm. What do you think you're doing there, worm? I'm, uh, storming your camp? <laughs> Who are you? I am the great Gorok, chief of the Blood Scythe Orcs. Uh, what have you done with Wilbur? What have you done with little Wilbur? What's a little Wilbur? He's a gnome, and my friend. Oh, him. Since when did people start naming their gnomes? What's the world coming to? He walked into our trap earlier. Stupid little beggar. Is he alright? 
I damn well hope so. What would anyone want with a damaged gnome? Uh, I want Wilbur back. I want Wilbur back, right now. We caught him, so he belongs to us now. Get yourself a new one. But I'm responsible for him. Your problem. He's the main prize in our warrior contest, so he stays here with us. Hmm. Uh, what is a warrior contest? What is your warrior contest, exactly? It determines who is the most powerful warrior. Two opponents go head to head in a series of brutal tests. The winner is bestowed with great honor and receives a prize. Is Wilbur the prize? And Wilbur's nothing more than a prize to you? Hmm. No, the prize is a bottle of fire whiskey. The gnome's just a bonus. Sweet. Uh, can anyone take part in the contest? So, can anyone take part in the warrior contest? We orcs fear no one. We'll take on anyone in a warrior contest. Well, that's fine. Then let me in. I want to take part. Oh, I said it's a warrior contest. Someone like you taking part would be a complete waste of time. Uh, but uh, I'm damn dangerous. I may not look all that dangerous, but sometimes the less obvious guys are the most dangerous. You're right. Really? You don't look dangerous. Ah! <laughs> uh... But if I find myself a warrior, can he take part in a contest on my behalf? Uh, point taken. I'll go find a warrior in all this wasteland. Then can he take part in your contest? If he's a real challenge, why not? But not any old piece of rubbish. He has to be a great warrior. I know where this is going. Uh, why do you orcs always have to cause trouble? Why do you guys always make trouble? You kidnap harmless gnomes and then attack the free world for no reason at all. That wasn't an attack. It was an anticipated defense of the homeland in enemy territory. And anyway, what else are we supposed to do? We have the biggest army in the world. No one else invests as much gold in the military as we do. It would be madness to invest all that gold and then never wage war. That's downright irresponsible. We couldn't anticipate that the damn war would take forever. And now you're stuck in it up to your ears, as is the Alliance. <laughs> That's all propaganda. There are thousands of war-hungry, well-equipped and motivated warriors here in the camp waiting for deployment. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, I'm from the Environmental Health and I got a few questions about this rubbish heap. I'm from the Environment Office. You do know that you can't just go chucking your rubbish all over the landscape here. Open the gates, please. I need to check your garbage cans. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? How can anyone blather such rubbish? I don't know either. It's like I can ask different questions, but every time I select the most stupid one. <laughs> I'll be back. And I'll wait. All right, so now I got to go find a warrior to fight on my behalf. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here for me. Um... Let's go. Well, <coughs> we do have one fighter, kinda, that's in the area. Um, let's let's talk to him. I don't think this is gonna go all that well. Hello, princess. <laughs> yes. I I'm looking for a warrior to represent me in an orc contest. You're a paladin, right? Yes. Paladins know about hammers, swords, and armor, right? Yes. Well, you know anyone who's a bit handy with such things? A warrior, perhaps? I'm very sorry I don't have anything to do with such barbarians. Uh, all right, well... Have to go. He's not going to help us at Man all. And stuff to do. Ha ha. So we're going to have to try to figure out how to get Wilbur out from that camp. Okay, so uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we met all the zombies, uh, we met uh, the stupid paladin, we met the orcs, and uh, now we gotta figure out, we gotta find a warrior to go into the camp and to uh, fight on Nate's behalf in order to get Wilbur. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that next time. So thank you everybody, thank you for joining me, and I will catch you all next time. Peace out everybody.